Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, hello, shalom, guten tag, salutations, yes siree. So judging from today's title, I'll be discussing basically one major topic in this video, and that is why black males are secretly envious and jealous of their own women in the community. And how this topic came about is how I got into like mm, a debacle with someone online about like the black community obviously and one person was just talking about how black men don't want or need black women and they were saying how black women are just jealous selfish insecure women when it comes to mixed biracial white or just non-black women in general and so me and that type of person kept going back and forth back and forth until i won the conversation why because i'm smart i don't talk just to talk i talk to speak facts so this is why i'm talking about this topic of why black men are secretly jealous and envious of black women but they just don't want to say it it was mostly black men that had the mentality ingrained from the white men that were their masters they ingrained in the black man's mentality that darker is ugly and in light is better and still to this day a majority of black men still think that way and with the recent wave of more and more brown and dark-skinned black women finally embracing their natural hair their features their body shape the color of their skin the color of their brown eyes they're finally loving their true selves but what what comes with you know embracing yourself backlash and jealousy and sadly it's stemming from the black men in the black community and because a majority of black men especially broke black rappers it's it mostly comes from these type of men they're either rappers or they're broke they talk about how they don't want a dark-skinned black woman because they're rough or aggressive. I just don't want a black woman in general because she's loud. Uh, she's always ready to fight someone. Oh, I don't want any black baby because I'm already black or dark enough. So I don't want no black babies. Why do you think they're saying that? Why do you think they're projecting this hate? onto black women and only black women because they still have the nasty mentality that black or dark is ugly and light white people is better and you should achieve to either be with someone like that or you should achieve to be like that but as soon as a black woman points this out black well, I'm not going to say black men. I'm going to say a majority of black men will then deflect from their own securities and will continue to spew their anger and hatred of their own insecurities on black women when all that black woman said was the cold hard truth. No one wants to hear the truth, but at the end of the day, it's the cold hard truth. Most black men don't want to be with a black woman because most of them know black women are now getting tired of waiting around for black men to protect them to love them and show them respect they want a becky they want a uh sophia vergara they want a gal gadot they want a margot robbie they want someone like doja cat they want someone like Rihanna. They want someone like Beyonce or Chloe and Halle Berry or Bailey. Whoops. 
but you know what I'm talking about. And here's an example. A black girl could instantly just post something positive in her life. Like, uh, oh, I'm having the best time of my life in Hawaii. Uh, I just graduated from college. I had a 4.0 with honors. I made it to the Dean's list. I can finally relax and enjoy the rest of my vacation and to finally decide what I want to do with my life, blah, blah, blah. The black men won't even read the caption. They'll just scroll through the pictures and what would they see? She could be hugging a guy of a different ethnic group and they'll start going bananas. They'll be mad crazy. They're not just mad at her because she's living the best life. They're mostly mad at her because she's hugging a man who's not black. She's hugging a man who is not from the same ethnic group as she is. All she did was post something positive about her life and men just, you know, go straight into the comments section talking about, oh, so I guess you don't want no black men, huh? So much for black love. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? She said nothing about being black or wanting black love. She said nothing about swirling or any of these other things. She just simply put out a post, living her best life, a picture with her friends, but no, all they cared about was that one photo of her hugging a guy who may or may not even be her boyfriend or a good friend, but because he's not black, they get upset. And in their minds, they see it as black men are losing. And they're right. Black men are losing in a way if they want to think it, think of it as a competition. Yeah, you're right. Black men are losing. Because let's be honest, mixed, biracial, white, and non-black women, they're not checking for black men. Let's be honest. Kim Kardashian... She never truly loved Kanye, Kanye West. Let's be honest. She never cared about him. Was she obsessed with him because he was black? Did she fetishize him? Like two of her other sisters did? And her mom? Of course. But she never truly loved him. Let's be honest. You can have kids with someone you fetishize. You can have kids with someone you're obsessed with just based on how they look or the color of their skin. But did she truly love him? I don't believe she did. Black men think that dating outside their race is a step up. They think it gives them status of dating a non-black woman. When in actual reality, there's no competition. If you wanna date outside your race, that's totally fine. No one cares if you want to date a Latina. No one cares if you want to date a Middle Eastern girl. No one cares if you want to date a Pacific Island girl. No one cares if you want to date an Asian girl. But you do not have to put down disrespect or degrade black women in the process just to uplift your preferences. Back to my example. And as soon as the black girl who's rightfully defending herself from these trolls online as soon as she says something like first of all this guy is not my boyfriend he's just a close friend of mine and two why are you guys in my comments i said nothing about black love i said nothing about swirling i said nothing about keeping the black genes alive you don't see me coming into your uh, DMs or comments section every time I see you with a non-black girl she rightfully states facts and what does that guy do? The black man? He'll go straight to disrespecting her and gaslighting her talking about man you just jealous that I'm with a white girl you just jealous that you look nothing like Jennifer Lopez you just jealous that uh non-black women are prettier than you. You just jealous and you just making up crap for no reason. 
And it's at this point where it's like, as a young black woman, I honestly don't really want a black man. I, I really don't. I know not all black men are like this, but within the recent months, there's not a lot of black love out there. There's really not. I could probably name like maybe three or four real black couples, but other than that, black love is pretty much dead. It's dr it's drier than the Sahara Desert. It's there's nothing there. So yeah. But if I had the chance to date a black guy, I'd do it, but I'm not really checking for them right now. So yeah, all in all, black men, they can deflect and project their anger towards black women all they want. They're just proving our point right. We don't want dusty black men anymore. We are open to all ethnic groups and we do not care. We don't care about swirling. We don't care about light skin mixed babies. We don't care. From what I've seen with Derek Jackson and his wife, Quavo and Sweetie, the baby and Meg the Stallion and Danny Lay or Lee, they're making the species of black men look terrible. But yet, they're the first ones to say black women look like dogs. Black women are monkeys they don't know how to bathe uh they don't know when to shut up they don't know how to support their black men they're not loyal you realize you're talking about your mom who is a black woman you realize you're talking about your black sister who is a black woman you realize you're talking about your grandmother who is a black woman you realize you're talking about your aunties and your cousins when you say black females, you mean all black females. The deep-rooted self-hate that a majority of these black men have today is just very scary, but it's not surprising. And most of these black men need to do better. Because when they say, oh, I don't want a black woman, I, I don't care for them. Yes, you do. You're just mad that we don't want you guys anymore. That we're open to dating outside our race. You want us, but we don't want you. And that's just the facts. That was that. I don't care what you took away from that. I'm just saying it like I see it. And if you felt triggered or if you felt attacked, I can't help you. I'm not here to coddle anyone's feelings. But I will say them, I will say my opinions or what I believe respectfully, but I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to say it how it is. If you don't like it, that's too bad. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.